Okay, uh, here I have the model I ended up with in the last tutorial. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some floors to this model. So I'm just going to an elevation view here and getting these kind of positioned in the right spot. And I've got some weird floors I don't really need. Floor to floor at the first level is 22 foot 6, and that's going to be level 2. And then after that, I have 9 foot floor to floors. And then one thing I'll do is I'll create a top of parapet level, and that'll help me constrain my walls later on. Okay, it takes care of that. So if I go back to 3D view here, and I click on this, I can go ahead and create my mass floors by clicking the mass floor button here and just pick the floors I want. All right. And then in order to create the real floors, I basically go back to model by face, hit floor. You set to create real floors since mass floors are just kind of conceptual floors. Okay, and I have I have real floors. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, create uh, walls for for this facade. And one of the things I tried to do on this model was to um, um, do these as curtain systems. Even though there's, these are going to be brick walls, uh, I thought I'd do it with a curtain system, and it, it has some time-saving benefits. So. Uh, actually not a curtain system, a curtain wall. There's an important difference. Um, let me go ahead and do wall, model by face, and instead of a solid wall, I'm going to do a curtain wall. And I'll just pick these walls here. Okay. So um, as you can see, I've got this wall here. It doesn't have any grid lines in it. Now I could have done this as a curtain system and nested some solid walls uh, into the curtain system, but um, I'm a little bit more limited with the kinds of walls I can put into the curtain system than I would be if this was a uh, a curtain wall. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use curtain wall, and I'll 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 explain why uh, as as I go forward. So let me just take a look at this now. There. So there's my curtain wall that I've just created. So I'll just come here and, and put my grids in. And what I want to do is um, probably easier just to get these in and position them. Okay, so what I really want is, that seems fine. This is like two foot six. And then this is, needs to be five feet. Okay. And take these two grids and copy them. Very straightforward. Oops. And if you um, if you copy and click multiple, then you can just take that up. And 
I don't need this one. So what I'm going to have here is um, basically I want this to be a brick wall. So what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll say, okay, well, it's, you know, it'll be a brick on CMU wall. I'm going to match that panel. And I can get to the panels by tabbing. So very quickly I've got this kind of brick ribbon facade here. Okay. And then for the panel that's glazed, I'm just going to have that be empty. And I can match properties. You can type MA to get to that. And then tab the empty panel. And then tab to the panels you want empty. Okay. So very quickly, um, I've created this kind of ribbon parking deck facade. You you know you've probably seen this a hundred times. And uh, one cool thing about uh, these curtain wall lines is is I can align them really quickly across the facade. So let me just uh, let me create some more grids here. And this could just be whatever. And then here, um, in order to get this thing to start to segment, I can add intermediate um, kind of grids, and you can see how that segments up. And then we'll, not sure why these are separate, but I'll add more grids here and here. Okay. And without needing to get everything exactly right, like right when you do it. If you go to plan and create a diagonal elevation right here, we'll go to view, elevation, there we go, perfect. It actually set itself to be at the, on the diagonal. You need to make sure that the view depth is, you know, I don't know, a thousand feet or something. There we go. And for this, I'll turn the mass off. And I need to make sure I don't have a filter on. So I'll set that to none. There. Now, if I uh, AL for align, I can just align these grid lines really, really quickly across the facade. So I really want this here. There we go. You can kind of see how that works. It's, oops, I just aligned the uh, floor line. So I can even draw the uh, grid lines here, and it's pretty quick. It's a pretty easy way to do this. And then, you know, select these panels and set them to be brick. Let's see. Filter down curtain panels is what I'm looking for there. I can change that to be brick on um, brick over CMU, and you can see here it, it came in reversed. So I just want to pick this and change walls orientation. Something's wrong. Oh, this was a stacked wall. This was the wrong wall. There we go. That's really what I want. So I'll just match that. MA again. Boom. And if I want this to be... And the weird thing is, it actually will take a round shape. So I'm not really sure why I needed the segment. Sometimes... Uh, you don't really need the segment there. I mean, I could probably remove these grid lines. It's kind of weird, but if I remove the grid line, it understands that that's a circular wall, and it'll actually show that correct. So, you know, it's just it's kind of an oddity, really.